We've just released two new AI powered tools. Here's what they are and how they can take your publishing business to the next level. Hi guys, Thomas here, founder of Bookbeam. And yes, you heard that right. On top of all of our other awesome tools like the keyword research tool, the niche finder, the book tracker, the Chrome extension, listing optimizer, and all of the other ones. On top of them, we've just released two new AI powered tools. The first one is called AI Assistant and the second one is called AI Editor. The AI Assistant will help you to generate long and detailed book outlines, high quality book descriptions that actually help to sell your book and also detailed and insightful customer research reports with data that comes from Amazon. And one important thing to note is that the AI Assistant is built on the most advanced AI model as far as output quality is concerned. It's built on the most advanced AI model that is out there and it is not available for free. This is not just some model that you could access somewhere for free. It is a paid model. And the second tool is the AI editor, which allows you to edit texts of different lengths with different editing styles, such as professional, improve grammar, make it more concise, improve the structure and similar. You'll see that this tool allows you to retain a lot of the editing control over your manuscript which we thought is quite important. All right, so here we are in the AI Assistant tool. And what I'm gonna do first is generate a book outline. So here at the top, what it asks first is which mode do we wanna create this book outline in, highest quality or economical? So the highest quality one will use the best AI model that is out there. It will, have, it will generate outputs with more detailed sentence structures. It's more advanced and more nuanced uh, sentence structures and, and content in general, whereas the economical one will use a cheaper model and also cost less credits to you. So really the choice is up to you. We knew that there would be some people who want to uh, perhaps generate more outlines, but generally I recommend that you stick to highest quality and just do uh, less outlines and just make sure the ones that you do do are great. But really the choice is up to you. So here I'm gonna use the highest quality, then book type is gonna be nonfiction. And the book that I'm gonna generate an outline for is gonna be titled Gardening for Beginners. Target audience adults, number of chapters, let's do 15 chapters maybe. And the description I've already prepared in advance, it's gonna be a gardening book for complete beginners and it should cover the basic topics all the way to more advanced topics as well. Now this description isn't great. I would recommend that you guys are a bit more detailed than I was here for this, uh, for this walkthrough or showcase. Uh, generally, the more specific you are, the better it can kind of create the outline based on your, uh, based on your specific directions and, and desires on whatever you have in mind. So hit generate and it's gonna create a book outline for me. All right, so a few short moments later, we have a long and detailed book outline created for us with the summary sections here at the top and then below all of the chapters, chapter titles and what should be included in each of the chapters. Each of the chapters has several subtopics that should be included in them. So here chapter two, three, and it goes all the way down to chapter 15 as we instructed and a little conclusion uh, down here at the end. All right, so let's say you generated this book outline, but you're not happy with one of these subtopics and you would like it changed. You can do that very easily by just highlighting the text that you would like changed and inputting in an instruction of what exactly you would like to be changed. So here, let's say we just want a different subtopic. Try a different subtopic. And there we go, here's our new subtopic that we can use to replace the old one. And similarly, you can go through the entire document and ask it to make changes to any of the subtopics, chapters, or any of the paragraphs or sentences, completely up to you. So just like with a good human outline writer, you can ask for revisions until you are satisfied. And by the way, if we think about this for a short moment, how much would an outline like this cost us to create on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. In most cases, it's gonna set you back at least a hundred bucks, if not 150 or 200 plus for a good high quality outline. And you're gonna to have to wait several days, at least if not more than that for, again, for high quality outline writers. They're oftentimes very in demand and they have a backlog of outlines that they might be writing for different clients. So there you go, a long and detailed outline. Lastly, once you're happy with it, you can either copy it to your clipboard or you can export it to a Word file. All right, so next up, let's create a book description. This one is gonna be a kawaii coloring book authored by Jane Doe. Target audience, well, really it's a broad audience, but we could put, let's say kids, but these types of books generally have a broad audience. And now here down in the description, what is again highly recommended is that you are specific. You include specific facts about this book. So for example, here I wrote that this book contains 50 high quality illustrations. And this is a fact or a piece of information that the AI assistant will be able to use and incorporate into the description and help it to be less generic and more specific to your book. So these types of things can be really, really helpful. And as always, we're gonna click generate. 
All right, and there we go. Here is our book description. So here you see that it has included the fact that we gave it, that it has 50 high quality illustrations and along with some of the other facts that it has thick lines and so on. And if you'll notice two things actually, it is already formatted for Amazon. So we can copy, copy the HTML and down here, this button copy with HTML is gonna copy the entire book description with all the Amazon HTML formatting. So if you click it, and then what you can do is you can go direct to Amazon. Remember to click the source button to be able to paste in the HTML tags. So all of these tags are supported by Amazon. Here, the title is an H4. You have paragraphs, italics, unordered lists, list items, and so on. So it saves you so much time just with not having to format your book description. It's already formatted. And the other point is that we've configured the AI assistant to write book descriptions in a specific way that helps to sell your book. So it helps to convey the benefits to readers using the AIDA or IDA framework that stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. So first it gets the attention with a nice bold headline, then it generates interest, desire, and lastly at the end, it drives an action with a call to action. It invites the readers to make an action. Next up, customer research. So here it asks for us to enter a keyword that we would like researched. I'm gonna input word search for seniors and hit research. All right, and so here we have our customer research report for our keyword, word search for seniors. Here at the top, we have an introduction, key findings, niches, market opportunities, the audience, so we can learn more about the niche as a whole, the market as a whole, and the people that are actually purchasing these books so that we can inform ourselves and be able to create the best possible book. Here, as we scroll down, we have information about some of the key players and the competitor strengths and weaknesses. And, and by the way, an important note is that this customer research report is created using real Amazon data, real data of competitors. And down here for these two sections, competitor strengths and competitor weaknesses, the AI assistant used Amazon negative and positive reviews. So the negative and positive views of the competitors that are aiming to rank for this keyword word search for seniors. So it sifted through many, many book reviews, positive ones and negative ones, and came up out of the positive ones, it came up with competitor strengths these bullet points that you can use to implement in your book. You know that these points are what people care about. This is what they uh, loved and enjoyed in the competitor books. And these three points are the weaknesses of the competitor books. This is how you can gain an edge. This is how you can stand out and improve on what is out there already. So really valuable stuff. Then pricing and lastly recommendations, a few recommendations summarized out of everything, out of all the entire report. All right, so next up is the second tool, which is the AI editor. So here I'll edit a new text and I'll paste in this badly written text with a lot of different types of mistakes. And by the way, you can also import a word file into this tool, into AI editor. So what I'll do first is I'll highlight this paragraph and I'll ask it to do a, to do a proofread of this text. And there we go. Here we have all of the changes and you can go through them one by one like this, accept or reject them one by one, or you can also accept or reject them all at once. Then what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna try a different editing style. For example, professional. I'll ask it to write this text, to rewrite this text in a professional way to make changes, to make the text uh, be more professionally written. There we go. We have this text rewritten in a more professional way. So here I can go through each of the changes and accept them, reject them one by one, just like before. Or we can just, let's do this one this time. I can just accept all here in the sidebar. So as you can see here, we have a lot of different editing styles that you can choose from. You can edit small bits of text by just highlighting them, or you can edit much bigger uh, portions and texts. Like for example, I could edit this entire text if I wanted to, or much larger texts with any of these editing styles. Lastly, once you're happy with the outcome, you can copy it to your clipboard or download it as a Word file. So guys, those are the two AI powered tools, the AI assistant and the AI editor. Thanks for watching and I will see you around.